Hey everyone, Nick from Practically Tactical. Thank you for tuning in. This video is gonna be a, I guess, follow-up or maybe a part two uh, to the EDC video that I put up yesterday. Um, apparently I carry too much stuff or I don't actually carry that and I guess people don't believe me uh, but and then people want to see me carry it which I think all of that is kind of irrelevant which I'll talk about in a minute here but we're gonna go ahead and do a very unflattering video uh, showing uh, that I actually carry this stuff and again I'm actually uh, you know uh, we're actually a YouTube channel me Jesse and Jeff who uh, do what we preach right so uh, we actually when we say to carry your gun everywhere we actually carry our gun everywhere I know that's not really relevant in the gun YouTube community but hey let's get to the unflattering part and so real quick here to the dude that's like you're fat like yep you're not the first person on the internet to tell me that so thank you uh, to I'm well aware that I am fat I have mirrors in my house believe it or not and I occasionally look down when I pee so uh, I'm full aware of that. So, but I will tell you though, um, I am the first person to tell you that it sucks to be fat and uh, being in shape is probably the number one most important thing in self-defense. And I can tell you what happens when you get tired physically, it starts messing with your brain. Again, if you guys wanna see me do combatives videos uh, from evolutions at classes, you can even see those on my channel. That's right, we're actually honest. Weird, right? But, so we got that out of the way, cool. Let's take a look at my gear here. So let me spin around here. You're welcome internet for that view. And so let's go over the gear that uh, I put in the video, right? So boom, right here, Glock 17 RMR, coach holster, right there, right? Boom. Uh, my clinch pick and my Juliet holster, right there. And I guess I didn't show in the video, I carry an Aries, uh, Aries gear Aegis enhanced belt. There's that. There's my spare magazine. Flashlight right there. There's my medical right there. So first off, this is not a ton of stuff. It's a gun that goes in a holster with a spare mag and a little holder and a flashlight and medical. That's it, right? Um, let's get to the more important part here because the funny thing is this video in one day has like 4,000 views and a bunch of our really, really good shows and podcasts have way less uh, views or downloads than that, um, which those are far more relevant uh, to actually protecting yourself than gear. I will tell you this, no piece of gear has ever made anybody good, ever. In fact, at classes, I've seen gear hinder people because they lack the training of it. If you have, if you go out and get training and you have skills and techniques to do whatever the, the context of, of that class is, there is gear that will help you. It will facilitate you being good, but it will never help you get skills and techniques, okay? Um, don't live and die around gear. Number two, what I carry, where I carry it, is not relevant to you. Hopefully you don't have my body type, right? Uh, where you carry is gonna be dictated by your body. And two people that look identical can carry absolutely different of what body styles, preferences, however that is that works for you. You need to make sure it works for you. So how I carry and what I carry is irrelevant to you. Okay, it, just fact. If I could carry appendix, I would be carrying appendix right now. In combative classes, appendix is far superior. Drawing your gun, appendix is far faster. That doesn't work for the way that my body is right now, so it's right here. Okay, where you live, where you work, where you play. That's your mission, that dictates what you carry. I carry what, me what meets my mission in life. You should not be dictating, if you carry the exact same thing as me in the exact same setup, I'm gonna tell you you're stupid. Why is that? Because you are not me. You don't live your life the same way that I do. So you need to evaluate where you live, where you work, where you play, and then gear, and then set up your gear for what your mission in life is. Maybe that's just defending your life, uh, your wife and kids uh, at home. Maybe that's traveling about, maybe you travel a lot. You need to set up what you carry for your mission in life. Number three, gear stuff. Um, 
there, 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 there is a big issue with, number one, uh, on this channel, you don't see a whole lot of gear stuff. Uh, it takes us very long to review gear on this channel. That's why it's usually in big chunks and we do podcast reviews because um, that allows us to sit and talk about a lot of different things and experiences with gear. So if you want more gear reviews, go subscribe to our podcast. We have a lot of shows and gear reviews that aren't on YouTube. Um, for all of us, for our gear, if, if we're going to be reviewing it, we run it through two classes. For example, let's say we're doing a flashlight review. So we have a few flashlight reviews up on our channel. You will notice that we do our flashlight reviews in a shoot house at night. Me showing you a flashlight in my backyard and how you can see a tree and the beam in my backyard, what is, how is that relevant to you? Are there many gunfights happen in backyards? I don't think there are too many of those. What about in houses and structures? Probably a lot of those. So we need to see the relevancy, the context of that review, okay, in where you would probably use something like that. Again, that's just a way of how we do things here. So the bigger point here is any gear, make sure that it works for you. Prove it right or wrong. Like we say on our channel all the time, uh, you, we believe whatever we say, you know, Go prove it for yourself. Prove it if it's right or wrong. Do the same thing with gear. Okay, if, if we say, hey, this, this gear is good to go, rock and roll, go out and prove if it works for you or doesn't, okay? Like my coach holster, I love, I mean, we designed it. This, this holster works for me. It might not work for you, and that's completely okay. Uh, maybe you have to carry it outside the waistband. Whatever it is, that's completely fine, but please don't ever just take anything you see or hear on the internet basically as being the absolute honest truth go out and prove it for yourself and again like the show that we just we just did uh last week of have you earned the right to have that opinion i have my opinions on low light because i've done i, I don't know a bunch of low light classes and low light shoot house classes and low light force on force there are reasons that i believe what i believe from training Okay, just like gear. I like to run gear in classes to get feedback on it if that gear works or not. I know this is a little scrambled brained here, um, but I wanted to show you guys, yes, I actually carry this stuff. Um, I'm not, again, one of the typical people that say, you know, carry your gun, self-defense, blah, blah, blah. But you see those people like NRA show or SHOT show and it ain't there, weird. So please be critical of who you get information from. There's a lot of good people out there. There's a lot of amazing channels. Uh, there's a lot of amazing channels out there that we are bigger than that you should be subscribed to, like Frank Proctor, okay? Our channel should not be bigger than Frank Proctor. Um, Aaron Cowan's out there. Uh, Trek from MDFI has a YouTube channel. Steve has a YouTube channel. I don't know how much they're putting up stuff, but they're, and beyond just them, there's a lot of other amazing YouTube channels out there. Uh, Functional Gentlemen. Find those who actually train, and that's gonna be probably pretty good information. Uh, it'll at least help you sift through the bullshit that's out there in the uh, firearms community. So again, I hope this isn't scatterbrained. You guys got any questions, please ask them. We love questions, we like feedback, we like to hear stuff, we like to have a discussion, but we don't put up with stupid fucking shit. So uh, if you're just watching this channel and you're like, hey, I like to go out and train, I like to go out and actually uh, be a critical thinker when carrying this gun. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel because you are the people that we like. So for everybody else out there, best of luck in life, man. Carry what you want to carry. Do what you want to do. I don't make your life decisions. I'm just trying to give you guys some feedback from all the mistakes that I've made before training. So get out, get trained then you'll be a fucking badass and smoke bad people all day long. And that's awesome and cool and smoke your victory cigars. So let's all live life well, get out and train and make uh, bad guys scared to do anything bad. So this is Nick from Practically Tactical being all scatterbrained and stuff because I find this stuff irritating about this type of stuff. Just get out and train and all the answers will come to you. So thank you for tuning in where we want to add critical thinking to your everyday carry.